Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yo, let's do this. Right, the V10 is finally here. So let's go and check it out. So yay! <laughs> version 10, welcome! Welcome version 10, we were waiting for you. So hey V10 and right away uh, just a short notice here. This video is not going to contain any tests of the smart summon or anything like that. No smart summon for Canada, sorry Canadians, uh, we can't have nice things this week fellas. I don't think about it, I've moved on. But I'll go through all the options that we got in V10. The biggest feature of this update besides the smart summon is an entertainment uh, section here which provides us Netflix, YouTube and Tesla tutorials. Actually this is a little bit weird because yesterday I saw here Hulu and uh, now Hulu seems to be not available. Ta -da! It's And it means that Tesla somehow is able to remove these services remotely from our cars. Let's check Netflix. And Netflix looks pretty much the same as any Netflix that you, you've seen so far. So it's the same uh, web client that you probably can find on your iPad or Apple TV. So same idea with everything. And uh, for this thing, I would definitely notice the sound. I know you saw a ghost. The sound is really, really impressive. The sound is immersive, the sound is not just loud. The quality of sound is really high, so uh, it, it is really uh, a pleasure to watch uh, your favorite movies with this kind of, of sound. Also, it makes sense to, uh, to say that Tesla, they temporarily allow us to watch and stream videos over the cell. They have noted here that we have temporarily enabled the ability to stream videos over cell. And it means that even if you turn off your Wi-Fi, you will be able to stream Netflix or YouTube or other stuff. So you go to the entertainment section and pick theater. Wi-Fi is now off. You can see that it's LT here. And you go directly to Netflix. Come on, Netflix, go ahead. Yeah. And as you can see, it, it was LTE here and it has no any issues with playing video. So use this feature while it's available in road trips and while you're charging your car and stuff like that. And talking about YouTube, it's pretty much the same uh, as any YouTube client around here. So you can watch any uh, video on YouTube if you want. How do we create our jump? Shut up! has some annoying ads the keep it in mind talking about entertainment section we have here a cuphead so to find cuphead you need to go to the entertainment section and you will find it just on top it says cuphead you can play it if you want but right now my controller is not plugged if you have kids highly recommend to try i will try with my kids it's a great game anyway so if you need to kill some time you can cuphead people love Cuphead. Also, they rearranged the icons here, so call, calendar, and camera moved here. The browser working way faster. And go to any website that you can keep in mind. Maybe it will work. So we're testing out the Vimeo right now, okay? Test. We'll see. I think it should and it will work and it is already working. Great. This is a good example of, uh, of what you can do with your web browser. So basically you can go to any website and uh, watch or listen to any media in the browser. But if you decide to go somewhere and you put your car in, let's say, a drive mode, it will pause the video and it won't play so keep it in mind it's for your own safety and after we park our car we can press play 
and it will continue playing amazing so now you know that the browser was updated as well also tesla improved their maps uh, and navigation so if you go to your maps and you decide to go somewhere let's say whatever it is it will show you all the places sorted out with an actual distance here on the right and you can check each place before you go there and if it has a website it will show you the website it is really useful especially if you're looking for some restaurant or a place where you can eat and this is where another feature coming out this is about improvements of the map so we have right now home work hungry and lucky and let's say i'm hungry and it's showing me a place somewhere around within you know reachable distance i don't know what is it but it has four 5 stars based on 107 reviews yeah it's uh, some kebabs i think oh my god beautiful kebabs kebabs by kebabs okay uh okay so another cool feature is actually here let's pull it up so before we had radio we had phone streaming and now we have karaoke you might recognize this song as performed by jefferson airplane in a little rockumentary called Gimme Shelter about the Rolling Stones and their nightmare at Altamont. And next, we finally got Spotify in North America. Fuck yes. One thing to remember, Spotify in tesla works only if you have a premium account i do this is why i have spotify if you have just a regular account it won't even let you to log in uh this is this is a, a downside of it but well you asked for it you get it and i think this is a great option because you can have all the collections of your music here you can have playlists artists that you like and you can follow and everything uh, so for example, I don't know, I'll go to my artist that I'm listening to and uh, I'll, I'll pick this guy and I press this and uh, it's playing just right away. Before we jump to the app, I will show you a Joe mode. It's been made to lower down all the warning signals in your car, such as chimes and so on, to protect your sleeping kids in the rear seat. So to turn it on, we're going to the options, safety and security, I'll basically turn it off or turn it on. I'll turn it off for now. Yeah, and controls were updated. It has now a home link button, which I and it is asking me, are you sure this action will remotely trigger home link? That's exactly what I meant. And it says there are no home link enabled garage doors near your vehicle, which is kind of not true. Let's try it one more time. Yes, open it up. No, nothing. But if I press this button here, it is opening. Come on. I'll give it one more try from here because I just tried through my vehicle uh, and it worked if I press a uh, sorry, a physical button, but it doesn't work if I press it here. Okay, let's go. Open up. No, nothing is going on, says there are no home links. So I found a bug, I guess it doesn't work. Also, we have here a uh, button showing that we can close all the windows. I opened all my windows around here. Look at that. And uh, I press this button. This is super cool. <laughs> All windows closed, finally, 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 finally. Super great, super great. Yes, mobile app is getting better and better. Also, you can vent them. If you press vent, it will slightly open the windows. All four windows, just a little bit. So some fresh air is getting in. And then after you did it, you can just press this button. There you go, magic. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! The last thing that I need to mention about V10 is how it's driving. I'm talking about autopilot, driving visualization, and dash cam, and sentry mode improvements. It is all pretty simple. The car visualization feature make your car to see upcoming traffic, and it is pretty cool. Just take a look at that. 
You can see that my car is recognizing these upcoming vehicles and showing them on the screen. Indeed, it's not perfect as well, because it's tough to achieve any level of perfection with machine learning, but it is very impressive and useful. The visualization of lane changing looks good too, and also car is showing double lanes now and probably some other details on the road. You can also rotate the virtual camera around your car to see the upcoming and rear traffic, but sometimes it's not showing other vehicles like in this situation for example. So it is good but not perfect yet for sure. Also V10 is capable of recognizing different types of cars such as this pickup truck for example. Take a look at that. It is a pickup truck. Yes, it is. Yes. If you are wondering about the rear camera that is available, check it out. Oh, this, just a regular commute around the block, is showing the quality of the footage. Also, the front, left and right cameras became sharper, and I didn't notice any artifacts whatsoever. Good job, Tesla. Really good job. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is V10. With no smart summon in Canada, but with some really great features that we were waiting for a long, long time. And this is it. Uh, this is V10. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. If you don't like, don't forget to dislike and unsubscribe because it's fair enough as well. But anyways, it will motivate me to make uh, more videos because, well, this is my hobby and uh, I will continue making them anyway so just uh, it's up to you guys thank you so much and uh aloha see you later see you later see you later bye everybody everybody bye